I'll bet you didn't realize just how dramatic and powerful the star in our sky can erupt. Now, scientists are on alert, and not just because the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, SOHO, has just detected one of the most powerful solar flares in 17 years. What has happened? And why is that important anyway? The star that provides us all with life and heat could trigger an inferno on our globe in the near future that would affect us all. Days of power outages, complete breakdown of communication networks and great displays of color in the sky. That would be a real nightmare and possibly an end-time scenario for our entire civilization. On December 14, 2023, the Earth experienced an astounding astronomical event, the large solar eruption of the last 17 years. The X9.4 was the strongest solar eruption of such categories seen this decade. This is one of our star's normal cycles, but something was off here and it's disturbing. The outburst is much larger than most previous observed outbursts. An X9.4 outburst is 10,000 times as intense and 10,000 times larger than average solar eruption, and the same as the energy contained in billions of hydrogen bombs. What was a stunning sight on the sun's surface was also important for Earth. This time, we got away with it. But our globe fought back against many. Scientists measured an increased amount of particles in the atmosphere. But no one can promise that that will always happen. A Category X9.4 solar storm could do devastating damage to electrical equipment. On Earth, destroy magnetic systems and wipe out power. The violent eruption released huge amounts of radiation and energy that we could see on the surface of the sun as an extremely bright flash. Advanced monitoring instruments and satellites, including NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory, enabled astronomers to see this event in up-close detail. The outcome was mesmerizing images and videos that give us a glimpse of the violence, the beauty, but also what is so unpredictable about our star in a stunning manner. Through space at speeds of millions of kilometers per hour, an enormous plasma cloud had been ejected from the sun. The particles of such an amazing event reached our globe within just a few minutes. This solar eruption had many manifold direct effects on the Earth. The coronal mass ejection had enough energy to trigger a geomagnetic storm, although much of the harmful radiation the Earth's atmosphere was able to absorb. Immediately afterwards, NASA sent a warning to power companies and airlines. Tension was high. An hour was pushed back airplane flights and power companies checked their outages and global communications companies monitored their satellites. Everything remained calm. The colorful aurora was only seen by a few in some parts of the world. In many parts of the world, otherwise not known for this spectacle of light, suddenly the sky lit up for many, with the most probable explanation being it was seeing its own reflection. It was an amazing natural event as well, as a moment for science. This represented a rare chance to observe how solar eruptions interact with sentinels of the magnetic field, Earth's magnetic field. Fortunately, though the sun may blow even more violent streams of particles at us in the future, the findings from this event will help us protect ourselves even better. Protection for the Earth Solar Research so, just for a moment, let's take a quick look at the history of solar research. All solar research back then was based on earthbound observations with telescopes and was, frankly, not very far ahead of hundred years ago. Not much was known in solar physics at that time. We know what we see today as sunspots, solar flares, and the solar corona, but they were simple eye and ear candy seen on our star's surface an interplay of colors that could not be defined. The solar wind, an idea whose existence had not yet been established of the auroras. Nobody knew anything of the solar plasma from which they come or of the heliosphere which floats protectively around our entire solar system. In the 1950s, an American astrophysicist by the name of Eugene Parker completely changed our understanding of just what the sun is. He was also the first to propound the existence of the solar wind, 
a stream of charged particles streaming out constantly from the sun. But this theory was at first controversial because it contradicts with current theories on how things work in space. It was Parker's persistence and his precise theoretical work on solar activity that he maintained over the years that ultimately resulted in Parker's work being recognized. The 1960s saw Parker's great triumph as satellite measurements, would finally confirm his theories on the solar wind and its effect on the Earth. Eugene Parker is today still considered the father of solar research. And now we should mention that he was the one who laid the foundations of the modern picture of the research of solar physics. Without him, we today know much more about the enigmatic interplay of the Sun with interplanetary space, about the impact of solar storms on the Earth, and heaven help us. We may owe our survival to him as a whole. Modern civilization could have collapsed due to the same. We're, after all, very interested in our knowledge of the sun and violent eruptions, which are critical to protect space travel and to predict space. Weather that can impact satellites, communications, and power grids on Earth. Our sun. Nourishing and deadly. When we think of the sun and sunshine, do we immediately think of a lovely warm day, flowers, and light? We basically all have a positive relationship with the sun, and that's most of us. The sun is our source of light, warmth, flowers, life, you name it. I always like to say, without the sun, the earth as we know it would probably not exist at all. Without this very star, the sun is the galactic heart of our solar system. Since our sun is a rather small star and medium luminosity, on a cosmic scale this is relatively a small star. But the star is a monster of a power reactor. It's huge, so huge that 1.3 million Earths would fit inside it, and its mass counts. For more than 99.8% of the total mass of our solar system. In its core, where heat exceeds 15 million degrees Celsius, Unimaginable nuclear fusion occurs where hydrogen becomes helium. What they release in energy is an amount dwarfed by anything on Earth. It's the fuel that fuels life and keeps the Earth in perfect balance. Sun is not only a source of light and warmth, but also a symbol of hope and inspiration. Our ancestors found it sacred. In many civilizations on Earth, the sun gods have always been the highest, and the greatest rulers of this Earth have selected the sun as a symbol for denoting their power. Its rays reach into the darkness, flinging color at our world, and meddling with the Earth's elusive weather and climate systems. The brightness of the phases and the darkness which determines our lives. The sun rises and we rise up, and when our star is dying light, it may go to sleep. The sun, however, is so much more than that. It's a wild and wacky body, in spastic activity, whimsy, and flux. So, close to the sun, SDO, SOHO, and Parker Solar Probe, have you ever wondered how difficult it is to study the sun? I know what I'm talking about if you've ever tried to look at the sun directly. Special technologies enable us to observe the sun, but its light immediately dazzles our eyes. Only in the last 100 years or so or so has it become possible to look directly into and at the sun, and NASA and ESA's SDO satellite works with modern filter technology for this. This means we can see the sun's surface look in green, blue, or even red. The latest and most modern solar observatory cleverly filters out the white and blue light waves from the images allowing us to get stunning information on solar activity. The SDO makes every small crater, every surge, and each flash on the sun visible. This satellite brought the news of biggest solar storm of the last 17 years. Yet, we need to be grateful for this modern technology, and the SDO for sure will warn us of devastating solar storms in the future. Eugene Parker, the solar pioneer, managed to live to see the solar probe that bears his name leave to explore its beloved star. The Parker Solar Probe will become the first man-made object to come closer to the sun than ever before. The probe has made two close flybys of the sun before it launched on Aukchir Kus 12, 2018, and now does so before it launches. 
and it's another pioneering technological leap and is designed to fly directly into the sun's corona. The parts that are closest to the sun get hotter still than in the visible surface of the sun because of sophisticated cooling and shielding technology in the vicinity of the sun. Parker Solar Probe plunges past the high temperatures of as much as 1,377 degrees Celsius in the sun's corona, collects measurements, sends us pictures, and even recordings of what make up the infamous solar wind. Already revolutionary is the Parker Solar Probe's first batch of results, with much more ahead over coming years as it opens new windows into the orbit of the sun's corona and the outer part of the solar atmosphere. SOHO, the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, which is operated by ESA and NASA, is the third in the group. Currently, it is observing events on the sun from the first Lagrange point of 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. SOHO has also found more than 3,000 comets and protects our planet from cosmic surprises. It's imminent, a devastating solar storm. These solar observatories have told us a great deal about the sun. It's good news, but it's bad news. As we know, the sun is often prone to violent activity, exactly the kind of thing that might pose a significant challenge to our civilization. If this massive event happens, power grids around the world will fail within minutes. Electrical equipment could spark, and no equipment would be able to react reliably with fire. Isolation would be caused by the collapse of communication systems. It is possible nobody would call America to ask what it's like there. Cell phones and smartphones would be dead, the Internet would be gone, electricity would be gone, supermarkets could not open, air traffic would collapse, banks could no longer dispense money because money-dispensing ATMs would be sparking as well. Don't believe it? So, didn't it happen already once? There was, in 1859, a massive solar storm that knocked out the first electrical systems. These were new, of course, which put early electrical systems out of commission. The telegraph lines were quivering and the stationary equipment flashed. Sparks. The sky was broad daylight and you could see STHs of red, orange, and yellow light. The insulations were disabled for several weeks, with first use of the insulations again being about a week later. At the time, only one British researcher found the true connections. It came to be known as the Carrington Event, recorded in the history books in his honor, and a storm like this could strike the Earth at any time. Subscribe to the channel. We've got a lot more great videos coming your way.